You've got that wonderful bedside manner I adore. Please say, ah. Oh. I so many ailments for you to explore. Please say, ah. Oh. I'm always in pain. It sometimes makes me maniacal. I'm sure it's all in your... Don't tell me that I am hypochondriacal. I've heard that before. How would it be if you just held my hand? Really? Why? I mean it'll soothe my nerves. You understand? Oh, yes. Quite. Right now, while you have me close like this, if somehow by chance we share a kiss, I'm certain that I would feel much better by heart. Don't pucker your lips. Just open your mouth and please. Yes. Yes. Oh. I think you may have a cold, although your throat is fine. Are you sure? You're really not well. Your pulse is just divine. I'm so glad. Bad headaches may come from all those beautiful glands you've got. Would it be ethical if I said what lovely, sensitive hands you've got? <clears throat> you better had not. The fever you show is really rather sweet. Oh, how nice. My simple advice. Advice is just keep off your feet. Hmm, that's good. Should I become lonesome and depressed? I'll be here beside you while you rest. In fact, I won't leave until you feel up to par. I'm suddenly feeling poorly again. Then please. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> I should examine your sign. Now I can, now that can wait a bit. Yes, that's true. You look somewhat flushed. You look extremely fit. And mature, you're terribly wise like Solomon and like Socrates. And yet I wonder what's happened to my oath to good old Hippocrates. Don't think of him, please. You must be, be so weary. Yes? You're pale and wan. Rest a while. Well, I'll stay for a mo. Good. Then I must be gone. Hmm. Yes, I know. So many more patients I must see. But first you must concentrate on me. I think I've forgotten who the other ones are. <laughs> oh, Dr. Yardu. Ha, 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 ha.